Hey guys, here's a quick look at how to find the citations in a database that's published by EBSCO. So the state of Ohio um, purchases a whole lot of EBSCO databases for students in Ohio through a project called InfoHio. So you're going to see them all over the, uh, the library Blackboard page and you're going to see them on the Cincinnati Library website as well. So if you are, let's just take a look at the Blackboard page since a lot of you use that. And if you're over here on the left and you clicked on databases, it takes you to this page. And you'll see quite a lot of them have this EBSCO label on them. Any of these will have about the same process. Now the iSearch is kind of like a Google for all the EBSCO databases. So almost everything in the results for that are gonna be EBSCO as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my search terms. And if you're at home, it'll actually ask you for a username and password. At school, it will not. Uh, your username and password, I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm just gonna look through here. I'm, notice I'm looking at encyclopedias. I think I'm gonna switch over to advanced sources, see if there's anything over there. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. Okay, so if you find an article you want, you're going to click on View and Download. And right here is the HTML full text, so it tells me I need to scroll down. All right, great. So if I say I like this article, I'm going to use it. I'm going to go to the site link on the right. And over here, you're gonna see citation format. This is not the citation format that we use though. We use MLA. So you're gonna to have to scroll down a little bit. There should be a little bar on the right or you'll just use your finger to drag it up if you're on an iPad. Um, there's MLA style, so I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna copy. It doesn't tell me whether this is a journal, so I'm gonna scroll down. No, I don't really see anything that tells me what this says. So I'm going to have to look for the source. Good Morning America. I've actually heard of that before. I know that's a TV show. So if you don't know what this source is, though, you can always Google that source to find out what it is. So now I'm going to go over to Noodle Tools. And I'm going to create a new citation. I started in a database, so I know I can start there. And then I'm going to look for TV, television program, perfect. Great. So I'm going to go up here to copy and paste a citation. Now, one thing I've noticed is that they used all caps and MLA style does not use all caps. So I'm going to fix that. And that. But otherwise, this looks good. The italics for the title of the TV show are still there and all that. So I'm going to click Save. And now I'm all set. So that is the basics of an EBSCO citation and how to copy and paste it into Noodle Tools.